you know what's funny is I met you years ago. Me? In like 2010. Okay. In Malibu. There was some celebrity football game. Oh, yeah. The the uh, uh, the Madden. The Madden, yeah. T- you know, uh, flag football game. I was in the audience uh and I was berating James Vanderbeek the entire game. <laughs> I remember it was him, T.O., Joe Montana. I, I was, they, get, they give you like, and it was so, you know, it's so humbling. They're like, here's a personal pan, pizza, and a soda, and we need you to cheer the whole time. And, you know, it's yeah. like being a background actor. But I just thought it'd be a fun thing to go watch, so I did it. Uh-huh. And the whole time I'm going, hey, Vanderbeek. I'm kind of doing like a Patrick Warburton voice. I'm like, hey, Vanderbeek. <laughs> I want to see some blood out there, son. <laughs> and and after like the third time I shouted at him, he turned around and he goes, I'll make you proud, dad. And, <laughs> like, and it became like a back and forth bit where I was like, Vanderbeek, you're up Dawson's Creek without a paddle. And, he, you know, we just went back and forth. It was so funny. But wow. I saw you there. You're very nice. I appreciate you. You, you said what up and, and we're very kind and. I think you took selfies or oh, signed cool. autographs or whatever. Hey, man, uh, my pleasure. That's amazing. The small <laughs> world. I think that what they they had a Madden um, flag football game up there. It was beautiful, it right was there gorgeous. in the Malibu Park with the Pacific Ocean, right yeah. there. I think they did it two years. Was this the one where uh, Jerry Rice was beaten by Marina Maria Menounos at That's the very exactly end? That's exactly the one. Now, yeah. By the way, Jerry Rice, the most competitive person I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. Shocker. This just in. Him getting beaten by Maria Menounos in that flag football game was something that I think put him in a funk perhaps for months. Still I think to this day. Yeah, like, I wouldn't even bring it up to him. And that was also the time I think Irv blew out his Achilles in that one. Oh, that, yeah. Michael Irvin blew out his Achilles in that game. <laughs> Which is not a cool thing to be no, able to it's say. not. But it's it, yeah. it's rough and tumble that flag football. Yeah, world, evidently, man. certainly was, uh, if you're getting your 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 uh, your tower buzzed by uh, by you and your James Vanderbeek and Paul Walter Hauser is heckling you it. went for it for the whole thing. Joe Man- Manganiello was there. Oh. Yeah, it was like a really there were some very athletic people that I was like these people could play all right football. Very good. Yeah. And man, you played some uh, some nineties. Folks, I mean, from Sean Eckert and yeah. I, Tanya, and Richard Jewell. Did did you meet the real Richard Jewell at all, or no, not really? No, Richard. Um, regrettably, he he passed. I, I don't think, remember in that. Two thousand seven. All right, so then I'm a dumbass. So then, what did you? No, look, it's okay. What did you, I know you do a lot of research. There's, uh, <laughs> there's, I, oh, I never, I never, I never met Sean. I never met Sean Eckhart either. He okay. passed away in 07, the same year. Damn, um, bad year for guys who were famous years. in the nineties. And involved in the Olympics. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, no, also, there's some weird, crazy Jay Leno story where Jay Leno said about Richard Jewell on late night. He said, this uh, Richard Jewell guy, he uh, he kind of looks kind of looks like the guy who helped Galuli whack uh, Nancy Kerrigan. And it's like, I ended up playing these two guys. <laughs> it's, kinda, it's so weird that that's like a thing. That's funny. Um, and one of my wow. heroes is Chris Farley, who I talk about ad nauseum. And Chris Farley played... Sean Eckhart in a sketch when Nancy Kerrigan hosted Saturday Night Live. Mm. And then Richard Jewell did Weekend Update with Norm MacDonald in like 97. Another icon of yours, I'm sure. Oh, God, I love Norm MacDonald. I I haven't watched his new special because I know that when I do, I need to be like my phone on airplane. I need no interruption. I I just have to have a spiritual, emotional experience watching that. Who are your other uh, icons that you... Oh man! Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, I showed you. I got him on my arm. Right. I got a tattoo that. Um, You're wearing a very nice cardigan in the back. You decided not to rock the cardigan on the show. I, I like mean, the orange cardigan. That was a, that was a hundred dollar cardigan on sale at Macy's for thirty bucks. This dude <laughs> pulled that right off the rack. <laughs> you know, I, I, as you know, I, 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 I like hey, a good cardigan. Like a good uh, every, every now deal. and then, I don't. Which is a fan of the. Th- I do not frown upon cardigans. That. I do not. I, um, I, I no, I, I have this stylist, Jack Manson, who's awesome. He works with Jamie Foxx, and he. Always makes me look cooler than I am, which I appreciate very much. <laughs> oh, but I'm trying to own the whole hip hop chic thing. I have a I have an EP coming out July 8th. Yes, it's uh, I go under the name Signet Ringer. Um, Signet Ring, of course, like making uh, a stamp of approval. Yes, and then Ringer in sports, somebody who's good at something but doesn't look like they would be or appears not to be. And so, what do you? So you are. What what style I'm, of music? Uh, I'm in the your, ringer in, in hip hop. I think um, I think people wouldn't expect me to be any good at it, but I'm really proud of these six 
songs I'm putting out. Okay. Can and we hear some the bars? album is called Murder for Hire, but Hire is spelled H I G H E R. Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that. Did you uh, sample any for Taron Edgerton? I mean, he's he's, uh, his, he's, he's a hip hop fan. He and I both love Run the Jewels. We we listen to that quite a bit. What I'm just saying is that you know Taron is uh, somebody whose work is in fact associated with music. So oh. That's what I'm saying. Like, did you did you did you bust any of that out for him? If I did, it was when I was inebriated. Uh, I don't <laughs> think I would so really try to make him listen to my stuff. <laughs> Why? I don't. You wouldn't know. ask him for his opinion. I mean, if you're um, putting it out there, I, I mean... should. I should. No, I think I played him some rough cuts when okay. we first met, there you and go. Um, and yeah, we we had a lot of fun working together, man. I bet. Really good dude. I Who bet. would you say you sound like, Paul? Stylistically. Um, I mean, the way I compare myself, I I I, I am like a, a Jesus dude. So like, I listen to some gospel hip hop. Uh, I, I I call it like if Lecrae said the f word a bunch. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I I just I very much I don't like this sort of overly sterilized uh, want to be pure Christian uh, entertainment stuff. I think they need to keep it real. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and so I'm kind of doing the gospel meets meets hip hop in a way. And that is called, um, what did you say? It was called Signet? You, Signet Ringer. Signet and, Ringer. And uh, the EP Murder for Hire. Murder for Hire, H-I-G-H-E-R. That drops the same day as Blackbird. It July drops 8. the same day as Blackbird, Check July 8th. Wow, what a double dip for you, man. Blackbird available for streaming on Apple TV starting next week, July 8th. And then everybody check out uh, Paul Walter Hauser's new EP uh, dropping on the same day. Thanks for coming here, man. Hey, thanks for having me, dude. I really, I really am a fan of your show. Thank and, you. I appreciate that. And you always that. do such a great job. And you always bring on people I want to watch. So. Fantastic. Thanks. Hopefully that includes you. I think. I'm okay. Gonna... I, 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 think, I think it does as well. And Still then, a new convert to And that, the mug is yours to keep, by the way. Oh, thank you, man. Mug is yours to keep. It's a Rich Eisen show. Watch the Rich you. Eisen show. And also, screw ESPN. No, no, no. Did we get it? Did we get it? No. Did it make the air? No. I don't, well, come on, guys. I'm I don't approve fun. that I'm, message. I'm, I'm just kidding. No. Take two. He doesn't take, co-sign take two. that. Take, no. take two. Okay, take two. Yeah. Watch the Rich Eisen show. We keep in touch with the folks at ESPN. <laughs> I like the first one. <laughs> you like the first one because best you dad like, ever, ladies and gentlemen. Best dad ever. That's best dad me. ever, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so sweet. much.